Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics for Android and iOS with your Ionic Framework Apache Cordova project. Um, if you want to find a written version of this tutorial, uh, I have it on my written blog which I'll include in a link in the description of this video. So to start things off, let's go ahead and create a fresh Ionic project. And this would have created a new project right on my desktop called Example Project. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the Android platform. Now since I'm on Ubuntu, I won't be building for iOS, but if you're on a Mac, you can easily just add the iOS platform and this tutorial will work fine uh, for your iOS apps as well. So now that we've added the um, Android platform, we can go ahead and add the Google Analytics plugin that Dan Wilson created. So visiting his GitHub, we can go ahead and copy the GitHub URL and do Cordova plugin add and then paste that URL that we just copied. Now it went to get it went ahead and added the plugin for our Android project. So let's go ahead and enter our www folder and then the JavaScript folder and open up app.js. Inside this file we're going to go ahead and initialize the Google Analytics plugin. So create a new line and do if type of analytics not equal underneath undefined. And so what that's going to do is that's going to first see if our analytics plugin is available because we don't want to make references to the plugin if it hasn't truly been added to our project. And it'll also prevent errors when running it in the browser because uh, Cordova plugins don't work in web browsers, only on the device. So if the check succeeds, we can go ahead and initialize. So with this command, you can go ahead and enter your Google Analytics app ID. This isn't a web tracking ID, this is an app tracking ID, which can be generated from the Google Analytics website dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter a fake ID. But yours, is, yours will look something like that. And then of course, if we want to be particular, we can say uh, Google Analytics not started. So go ahead and save that. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new controller. Let's go ahead and change a few things though first. Alright, so in this controller we're going to go ahead and say that we want to track it. So every time this controller is launched, it's going to um, send a session to Google. So again, first thing we want to do is check to see if the uh, analytics uh, plugin is there. And if it is, we can go ahead and track the view. So 
let's save that and we can go ahead and go open our index.html file and let's go ahead and add our controller somewhere and that's basically all there is to it. This is just a, a basic example. So what will happen is the, the application will start, it'll initialize Google Analytics for iOS and Android using the app tracking ID and then when um, this example controller is hit a session will be sent to uh, Google to track, track it. Now Dan Wilson's uh, plugin also includes uh, a ton of other useful tracking features which you can find on my weblog. Um, but let's go ahead and confirm that this compiles. Of course it did, so we can install it. Oop. One of these should be the right one. Yeah, so it, it runs fine. And that's that's really all there is to it. If it probably won't show up immediately on your Google Analytics page, it, it'll probably take about 15 minutes before it registers. That's just a, a flaw of the Google platform and not necessarily your Ionic framework application. If you like this tutorial, please uh, subscribe to my channel as well as my web blog, which will be linked in the description. Uh, there's going to be plenty of good videos to come after this. Thank you.